Hey everyone, it's Terry from Terry's Philippine Journey. Uh, Monday the 24th, it's about 4.30 or so uh, in the afternoon. Sun's gonna be setting in the next hour, hour and a half or so. And uh, just come up above the house here, above San Fernando, below, on the Visayas, north coast of Visayas Island. So we're looking back uh, into the hills a little bit here sun's on the other side so i don't want to blind y'all so just really pretty i usually get up here and it's really hot or dark and you can't see much so before the sun set i wanted to show you around here so we're on top of a pretty high hill but they're bigger even behind us so we're going to go up one of them a little later it's a little breezy here there's like a banana grove down there and a uh See if we can zoom in on there. And then that little or plants here, that's dragon, a uh, small dragon fruit farm with all the little white gray stakes sticking up. So that's dragon fruit, and there's a trail down there that goes up from behind our house. And Negress Island and go over to Pacala because there's the ferry there. So that's basically where we're at. And that hill I love so much over there, I can't help but see it because this one in front of it is on the distance over there. It's kind of a protected one, it's the furthest one back there. It's not supposed to be cut in that. Trees are limited the tree cutting on that so it's very heavy for us so it's just beautiful over there because I'm actually for uh, here most of the trees are gone you just have some pockets but as you pan around here the hill I'm on is all gra mostly grass covered very few trees and the same with all of them back through there so this was once I imagine just jungle and shade and cool and really neat with lots of wildlife but uh, due to the demand on uh, making charcoal and house building and stuff which you know people need the wood I'm not knocking that but uh, I think my uh, complaint or gripe is we need a lot more uh, tree planting here in the Philippines so I think it should be mandatory if you you know, take 10 trees down you need to plant 20 to replace them because otherwise you end up uh, with something that's like this and there's just no uh, hardly uh, trees left here up in the area we're at so I would say uh, 60 to 75 percent of them are gone so just uh, little pockets here and there so since I've been here since January we've lost uh, just locally I've probably seen uh, three to five hectares cut down in three months of uh, forest so, so I really uh, enjoyed it when I come, but they're cut so many down on the hillside next to our house. Uh, there's not much left, but anyhow, it is what it is. It's just my two cents. I'd just like to see more uh, trees planted and, uh, you know, have that be the policy. You know, cut, but plant. So I think it's the best thing, because America, back where I come from, we went through the same thing. Forest all over the country, and we came in and shot all the buffalo and cut all the trees down. And then we realized, well, there's no more trees coming up. So, we uh, in the last few decades, we started, uh, you know, doing what I said replanting and saving trees and saving areas for trees because they're definitely uh, can't live without them. So and so I'd like to see something like that incorporated here in the Philippines for people. So if you cut, uh, cut a hillside down, plant a hillside or two for the future. So that's enough on that topic. 
Anyhow, I just wanted to share the beautiful uh, evening here and scan around and stuff. It's, there's a few little uh, native places up in the hills periodically. For the most part, it's very rugged and that's the sun's gone blind here. But we're going to go up the trail there and you should go up into uh, more, uh, I guess that'd be eastern or southern Philippines, I assume. It's much more mountainous, so even as big as these hills are, they're three, four, five thousand feet high. They're up to seven thousand feet further in, and we're only about 40, maybe 40, 50 miles from the bigger hills. I've never been that far yet. One of these days, I hope to be. So, anyhow, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, I like to see more people commenting on the site and sharing and subscribing and. Uh, always appreciate it and welcome and so if you have any uh, questions or comments about a video or uh, something I've said feel free to chime in and give me your two cents it's all about getting information out there and sharing opinions so that's it from this hillside uh, I think we'll go over here and you can kind of see the road down there that's the uh, road that goes around the island I'll zoom in on real quick so you can see it down there with the power tower, the towers and the power lines are, you can see some of the traffic down there going by. So that's a two to four lane highway that goes around the whole island. It is paved. Most of the others are not. So I'd say 75% of the roads are not paved in the, uh, at least in this part of the Philippines. And I assume that's the case in the others. So anyhow, there you have it. Well, thanks for watching, and we may uh, shoot another one at the top of the next hill. So we got another big mountain to climb up. Thanks.